What's up, guys? Today we're gonna to be doing a near a new series. New series came out. Okay, this series is gonna be talking about NTV so in the back rooms. We reading the descriptions and yeah, from a week from a wiki. W i k e i wiki. Starting from one to a thousand. Well, this is the gonna be the first video. Okay, let's go. So let's start reading the bacteria. Also known as a life-born fellow. What the is a creature, possibly a group. Wait. Okay, a group of creatures that in inhabitate the back rooms it, and prey on victims that have been found themselves in their apprentice or whatever that word that says. They're extremely hostile towards humans <sighs> and have been cause for corn current among the I don't know that word research installation uh, in their mission to study the back rooms. Back room. <sighs> Let's see how it got started. Here we go. History. The origins of this creature are debatable. Debate a tad, I don't know that word. It could be been in the back rooms long before, I don't know that word again, created the fresh hold. The creature appeared to wander in the back rooms randomly, often making noise which seemed familiar similar to humans. Humans, a speech, can't understand English. However, it, it unclear. It is unclear if the creature understands the meaning of these sounds. On March 1990, don't know that word again, set up a several motion detection de detecting cameras inside the back rooms at 1644 at undetermined noises was detected. Probably it was coming from the creature, but at 353.42, motion was detected of an unknown creature crawling around across the ceiling and peeking behind the corner the creature was far away so the footage was was not clear but it gave whatever that word says again the first clue to its existence dangerous creature during this time it had a more fluid appearance to it seemed to be pretty slow like my brother the bacteria would would first come in contact with I don't know that word after I don't know that word member Marvin E. Link fell into a new area in the back rooms. The creature learned Marv Marvin deeper into the area and toward its hiding spot by I don't know that word mimicking a human screaming for help since a human seemed to have lived in the area where the monster was it most likely was intimidating the the person's voice. Luckily, Marvin noticed it was not a person. <laughs> as, as soon as he saw it and emulate found Edward fled the monster and chased after him, but by this time it was still rather slow. So Marvin managed to escape. But we talking about slow. I seen the video. It was zoom. Importantly, Marvin got the creature on the camera, and the team gave the footage to, I don't know that word, again! As soon as they came back, and now the organization had, in, I don't know that word, in just the game, I think that word is, of the danger, cre the danger creature living inside the back rooms, and they pour on the bubbly. I think set up more safety protocols. I think they settled off the way they the research team found the monster in by but a construction worker heard a strange sound coming from above. It was unknown if the creature found a way out of the area or the creature seen after the different entities. Oh my gosh, he's just wired. He's just, he's like buy him up. So I'm not gonna read all this because y'all can pause if y'all want to read it because it's gonna be a too long video. Just to read its appearance. 
Let's just go to the next one. Next one. Can I pause it? Appearance and biology. The bacteria seemingly bears no contrant form, but is very tall, thin, and very humanoid in shape. Standing on two legs, its limbs are very thin and stiff. Sorry. But it can still move fast and quietly. Quietly, the arms reach up the floor and it has long fingers while its legs I don't know that word short and lack of the feet and a cable like string wraps around its body and legs despite its appearance the monster is actually pretty strong it can easily lift and do considerable damage to a human after it failed to capture cane pit or pixels if you want to say that it tossed a chair with incredible force like like yeah you just got to see the video he is like siren head and scp's series are not sick incredible strength he's very tall and yeah in the and back of the scheme the creature is intelligent this here's a fact it got good hearing so it's like the warden from minecraft the creature's intelligence is currently unclear as it is has mostly been seen running and making loud ro roaring woo, sounds. It can possibly mim mimic sounds perfectly and use that for its advantage to lure victims along with mercury, I think. It is a an ambush hunter. It stalks its victims for a long time perks around corners and hides in the shadows while waiting for the perfect time to attack. Sometimes it gives the victims a false sense of security before sneaking up right behind them and killing them. Want to go, boy? It is unknown if it is capable of writing and drawing as it used a written message to learn King Pixels. Yeah, seen the video. And I know how it's recording right there. <sighs> Very well, use a message left from another human. While chasing a victim, the monster produces a loud noise similar to distorted screaming or howling. It is not specified, whatever that word says, how it is to its kill. Hunter, shut up. It's victims as the body, only, only body discovered to date died. But <laughs> Uh, the monster is impelled to be a conscious organism, organism made by the mutant Ed strain of a hay ballast. I, I think that word is. Since the bacteria was found inside a corpse, and he's recording me again. The bacteria was, fine, was found inside a corpse. Wait, was it was it inside a human? Of which fear wise to be Nicholas Bolton. And it is the script described appeared stiff and mechanical, lending to theories that may be using objects discovered within the backrooms to support its form. <laughs> Here's some notes and theories from humans. Yeah. The name bacteria comes from Kane's Peace Pixels Kofa Golly? Okay. Notes or theories too. The creature may create a nest around dead bodies within the back rooms, potentially using the corpse to grow new intestines. Well, it lives inside the roots of the of level zero. Or you seen uh, the second video of it. It was like a green orb. He was in like some giant cocoon. Ugh. A strain of hay ballast, whatever that is, could enter through the tree's hall or could be a result. It might be impaled. It, it took one of the cameras and used it to makeshift skeleton. Hacking cameras. So, so, okay. The end.